We're going to hear giggles a little bit. Mm. <laughs> All right, good morning, everyone. Today, I'm just going to talk to you guys about our kitchen update. The kids are being really crazy right now, and they don't want me to record right now. So Gage is in the living room helping the twins out with something. The twins are driving the cat crazy. Or Declan is. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to come on today and tell you guys what we have all been doing. I posted on, or I did a post, Declan. What were you doing to the cat? I accidentally touched his ear cut. His ear cut? Yeah, behind his ear. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Just saying. Okay, so I posted something on my YouTube page about me getting things done this last weekend. So I'm a little behind on videos and timing on when these are going to all come out just because of when things line up and I'm able to share things. So... If you can tell by the back ground, we painted the kitchen. So I have the walls done. That's where we had the backsplash and we took that all off. And then I had to um, do a splatter and stuff back there, do texture on the wall. My kids are trying to... Miles is trying to be goofy right now. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I want to share with you guys what we all did so far with updating the kitchen and the stairs. I'm never going to get through this video. They're mocking everything that I do right now. So, okay. So if you guys remember and have been following along, you know that I put a backsplash up there. We tore it off. I tore the drywall off the wall or like the paper off the drywall. So we had to redo this area. So I'm learning, but we had to put a layer of primer. Then I did texture and then we did primer and then we painted it. So that is the gray color. That's all gray over there. That's all gray over there. Usually I had a cross and some stuff over there my brother made. That was over there. We have the air fryer right there. It's all painted all the way around and it is painted over there. And then over here is where the coffee area, this is gonna be the coffee bar area. So there's some stuff either Lauren's gonna make for me or I'm gonna order, I'm not quite sure yet. But if you guys can tell, I shared on my Instagram page the difference. So there is the wall color that is up there and throughout the rest of the house. And then I, you can tell with the primer and the gray color. They're all doing the exact same thing that I'm doing as I'm videotaping this for you guys. Okay, <laughs> then I need to take all these off. That's something you guys are gonna do for me. I'm gonna take all the doors off. And I need to sand everything down and then we need to prime it and then we need to paint it. And then, hey, can you do me a favor? Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you go get the countertop color? Can you go get that in my bedroom? So we also did the contact paper at the same time we did the backsplash and I'm changing my mind again. But that's okay, because it's only contact paper versus doing a full countertop. I wanted to do butcher black, but we, we um, hold on. No, not this one, the other oh, one. Mommy. All right, so when my sister was here. She priced out what it would cost for us to do a butcher block countertop. 
I have butcher block right there. I have it right there and over there. And I like the look, but it would have been around thousand dollars for us to do that. So we're spending $22 and contact papering it. So and this is what this is gonna look like up against that. So that'll look nice. And then these are gonna be the dark gray color. So we're almost done with the kitchen to the most part. I had Lauren go get me construct, con, contractor <laughs> adhesive or whatever it's called for these um, kickboard areas that we need to put underneath there. So we need to finish that and we have that. Um, so overall so far, what we've paid to do the stairs in the kitchen was $100 so far lauren already had lighting so we are getting that done he's got some lighting right there you can see right there that we had to mud some areas or fill some areas he put lighting underneath our kitchen table so that is done now we just have to fill in some of the mudded areas and get that um sanded and get it ready for me to paint so the ceiling is going to be white so I have to do that, cabinets, and then that's done in the kitchen. So the kitchen will be done once I get that um, done. I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna change these out. We're just gonna keep them. Otherwise, we're trying to keep the price down as much as possible. So, so far we paid $50 or around $46 for our paint. And then I had to get some wood fill because I have an area down here that needs to be done. Or I did, and then um, on my cabinets, I have some areas that I have to do some wood fill. And I have to take everything out. I have contact paper in my cabinets right now. We're gonna take that out and we're gonna paint the inside. That part's gonna be a big, big job. But Lauren's gonna show me how to spray, like spray these instead of using a brush. And then I'm gonna brush the cabinets. So that's okay. So that's that part. Um, so yes, so far with our kitchen makeover, it was $50 for the paint around and then the wood and the clock was another um, maybe like $15. So, so that's what we spent on the kitchen so far. We sh probably shouldn't need anything else besides we need a new sprayer and he priced that out it's like 36 dollars. so whatever all that is is how much it's going to cost for us to do our kitchen so we try to keep everything under a certain budget just because of our income and i try to do things as cheap as po possible but still try to make it look good okay so with our stairs now we or gauge tore out all the carpet so this is what they look like. And I will put a little picture right here um, to show you what they did look like and what I had to do to make them look the way they look now. All right. I got a fan on here. Okay, so upstairs, Lauren had to add a piece right here because we didn't have a rounded edge. So we bought that, that was $10. And then we also had to do a transition piece right here, and I forgot how much that one costed. But this piece right here was a full board. If you guys saw on my Lowe's like haul, we bought a board and it was ten dollars. We're gonna use them boards for my coffee area. So that's all priced in with all of that. So that's gonna be done with that. So for the stairs, I have the paint already, so the stairs don't didn't cost us anything to do. Um, and then up here, I have to fill in some areas with some caulk and then gauge filled in an area down there with mud. And you can tell on our walls, um, this all needed to be repaired and now I need to sand that down. But this is the hallway. So this part, I'm not gonna talk about that much because that just needs to be uh, redone as in painting. Um, and then we're also gonna 
try to find some lights and stuff to go up there. But that's gonna be later. So that is gonna be the cost of some of the things is replacing things like the lighting in there. And then I will talk to you about Evelyn's room too. So for the stairs, really it was only maybe $10, $15 for us to do the stairs because I have everything. All right, so let me talk about what we did with the stairs. I am going to have a separate video just on the stairs on what I did, just because when I share stuff like that, that really helps out my channel and um, shows other people how to do things on a budget. So if you guys hear this video and then later see an updated video on my stairs, that is just so I can um, help my channel out a little bit by promoting stuff like that. All right. So in the stairs, when we took off the, the carpet, there's a lot of cracks up and down the stairs. We need to fill that with caulk. And then um, I'm gonna go, like I said, I will go over all of that better in my video when I do that. Um, the little kids helped with filling the screw holes. So some of this is raised a little bit and we just need to sand that down. So yesterday over the weekend, I, sanded off all these rounded edges because there was so much glue on it from the carpet that was on here. So I took the day and I sanded them all down. So that's ready to go. I just have to do the fill, let that dry, then I'm gonna paint them. That's all I'm gonna share with the stairs and I will go over that later. Okay, so this is the wall to go up the stairs. You can tell the difference in color. This is what the color is gonna be, it's a light gray. We wanted to, or I wanted to tear this down and added like pedestal stairs going up and down, but it would have costed us, we figured another thousand dollars. So we're trying to do everything on budget. All right, so now I'm ready to share Evelyn's room. Also with Evelyn's room, I will have a separate video on Evelyn's room on what I did to paint that on the wall. And like I said, it helps out my channel when I share stuff like that because then other people have an idea on what they can do to their toddler's bedrooms or their kids' bedrooms. All right, so we got the lighting to go in here. We needed to replace the lighting. We got that one over there. That's what our wall looks like. This was the Batman side of the bedroom. I will leave a picture right here and you guys can see what the difference is. That is what that looks like over there. That's all painted gray. That wall was gray already. And then we had that light in here. That light was replaced. I do have to do some touch up paint on the light. They were black and we spray painted them white. Um, Lauren, when he was putting them in, they were a little too high for the ceiling. So we, he had to bend them and it did something to the paint. So I need to do a touch up on that for, um, her lighting. This is where we had this dresser right here was over there and this wall was already painted. So her, this side of the wall was already here. Let me make that bigger. All right. So that's her dresser over there and then she's got her place stuff there. And then we have the boys clothes over there. Um, and then her little play area over there. That's where her changing table was. But now that she's potty trained, we don't need that wasted um, dresser over there. This is what her little bed looks like. We need to get a container or a pet net yet to hold all her stuffed animals. I just threw them in the corner for right now. And then um, we added new doorknobs on the cabinet because we had Batman ones up there before and we matched them to her dresser. So this is what Evelyn's room looks like and I will share the video, like I said, on me painting it. And um, finally, having a room which is, you know, girl colors. So this is what her room looks like. We do have to replace these because of it being a Batman room. We had all dark switches and stuff in here. So he's gonna put white ones in here eventually. But hopefully you guys like it. So that's her little bedroom. 
And then walking out, you can see the difference on the color with the gray on the background and then our cabinet still being that color. Okay, so I did not do a lot of showing you guys how I repainted the kitchen. I will put a clip in right here on some of the stuff that I did to do that because I'm not going to share what I did with the kitchen. I'm just sharing with you guys directly and where I'm able to take off all the cabinet doors and stuff and sand them down. But this is what this looks like. So I have everything taped off and I have all the outlets and stuff taken off. So I have to prime everything first and then paint it the gray color. if I'm going to do a video on me painting the door, but if I don't have enough to share, I'll just share it right now. But this is just sharing everything that I've been doing over the weekend. And then I also want to share with you guys, I don't share this very often, but eventually I'm going to be updating my website. I don't know when, but I kind of let my website go a little bit because I don't have time to always update that and do that. But if you guys go to, I think it's www.10kidsinagarage.com, you will find my website, go there, put your email in, it'll pop up right away. You'll put your email in and you'll get uh, newsletters. Whenever I get to that point of sending out newsletters and updates, um, posts and stuff on there, if you guys are interested in following me in different areas. My website helps my channel grow. Also, if you guys go over there and uh, read some of the stuff that I have, a lot of the stuff that I have over there right now is some of it's my um, YouTube merch, some of it's my air fryer stuff. I have a lot of like baby wipe stuff that I make over there. Um, how me and Lauren met is on there. How we got started with chickens. So there's a lot of older stuff for all my newer viewers on where me and Lauren came from and things that we did to get started with 10 kids in a garage. So if you're interested in any of that, go over to my website, put your email in, and then when I get started with uploading more um, posts and stuff for you guys, when it comes to my website, you will get that in your email. So go over there and do that please, that would be awesome. And I see when you guys, uh, sign up or whatever so i'll have a list of people um that is joined on there you don't it doesn't cost anything to join you just put your email in and you'll get uh newsletters when that time comes 
All right. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys. This is kind of what we, it's Monday, and that's what we've been doing over the weekend. Just trying to get everything updated quick because during the week is homeschooling and that kind of stuff. And then um, we just go on with our days and then I'm not able to always get a lot done besides on the weekends. All right. So hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.